seemed like you were just able to put that one in. Uh, what was kind of that goal like? It was good. Uh, I knew the second goal would be important after we got the first one. Um, we knew they were going to throw everything they had at us. So getting that second goal really created that separation and allowed us to win the game. How does it feel now in the past few games, getting a couple on the tally mark for the season? It was good. It really builds confidence. and. It's good I'm getting them at this point in the season because that's when it's most important. What else? What do you think has allowed you to finish these chances now, as opposed to like going a little bit of a trail early in the season? Um, definitely more focus and training. Uh, I've been focusing on ending my runs in the frame of the goal. So I'm in goal scoring uh, positions when the crosses come in. So definitely more focus and training. Talk about you and Sarver, your kind of connection you built this year. Oh, um, yeah, Sammy's been uh, very good this year. Uh, I know whenever he gets it wide, he's usually going to beat that defender. So I'm always looking at the next play, how it can be open for his pass, because usually that first defender is pretty easy for him. How much of a relief is it to be the one seed, knowing you don't have to scoreboard watch after the last couple of years to know your next game is going to be at home? Because the last couple of years you had to scoreboard watch, you know, if it was a home or yeah, road it's, game. Yeah, uh, it's good. Uh, the fans definitely help us, the home field advantage. Uh, it's always nice to play at Armstrong, so really grateful to have that one seed in. It's, uh, it obviously helped us tonight. What was your uh, reaction to Sam dribbling through three guys before he crossed that one to you? I wasn't surprised. He does it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Was uh, you feel a bit dicey, a little nervous at the end after they scored and had some chances, or did you kind of feel that you had the match? Um, maybe for a little bit, but I knew that if I felt that feeling too much, it would, uh, it would uh, take over my mind and I wouldn't be able to focus on uh, defending in the moment, which was all I could control. So I tried to get that out of my head and focused on keeping the lead. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Enjoy, Mayor. I'll take your questions. It kind of seemed like there was a pause there uh, for taking the penalty. Maybe that was because of you know, VAR, but can you kind of walk us through that you know, decision process for you to be the one to step up? Yeah, definitely. Um, VAR check was a little longer than I was honestly wanting it to be, but definitely um, the preparation is the same. Just um, just trying to block away every all the other noise. We're all surrounded in a huddle and just kind of just talk, talking through tactics, but no one's really saying anything because they just want to, want to make sure just my head's good, and I'm just like kind of dialing everything else out just on the task at hand. Uh, Joey, are you the official penalty taker of the team, or is just something you've decided on the spot? No, it's kind of been some on the spot. We've, um, we're blessed that we have a lot of them, a lot of them, and might have just had to be called up for the past couple. But um, we have multiple guys very capable of doing this because they've done this at the high, highest level. Some of them in the national championship game as well. So the experience, experience is there. Are you at all worried not not that you've won these games, you've gotten multiple goals and the offense has gotten it together, but in Big Ten play you haven't had a shutout since early in the season. Is that at all concerning that you've given up a goal heading, in, heading in more into the postseason at least every game you haven't been able to put a shutout on the board in Big Ten play since early in the season? I, I wouldn't say it's concerning. Offense has definitely been unreal these, these this past month and a half. Extra details need to be... Uh, um, we need to focus up on in the back line in terms of just like how we manage um, extra communication, getting the getting the lines more compact. That's definitely some, something that we can we can improve on. starts starts with me. Starts with me. Yeah, I I need to do better back line. We need to do better as a as a whole. Was there sort of like a sigh of relief there at the end because Wisconsin was having a lot of chances there yeah. at the end? So I mean, yeah, they were they threw everything. They threw everything. They had like six, seven guys in the box, even their goalie at the very end. Um, they gave they gave us everything. They gave us a, they gave us a lot of problems. Biggest thing for us, uh, especially after they got that goal, just weathering the storm. Um, little little bit moments are huge moments. Winning the winning the throw def, uh, in your defensive third, um, functional clear, getting the lines up. Those extra details have really are something that we still can improve on, and that's something that I'm very optimistic about because we're still able to find this result. How long before do you take the penalty? Do you tell yourself which side you're going to? It, it's a little bit more made up, uh, just kind of from preparation. We do a lot of penalty kicks, definitely with uh, postseason play. We, honestly, we do them every single day in practice. So the preparation is there. It's just 
It's just confidence that they have given us because of the preparation that we've done. So obviously you've only had like 15 minutes to reflect, but what do you think the biggest <laughs> improvement for Wednesday would be? Um, I think we could have started out of the gate a little bit stronger. Um, we are definitely a, a little second-guessing in terms of uh, second ball movement, really getting into tackles, um, ball, ball movement, just just runners off the ball. We can, def we can definitely be sharper. And that's something with the, keeping those things in mind, I'm very optimistic about for us looking forward to Wednesday. Definitely things are clean up until. So Joey, you better pretty much start every single uh, game of your career here. Uh, does it get, give you more confidence, I guess, knowing you've been here, done it, you know, this late in the season, you know, with everything on the line still? 100%. I say uh, um, experience definitely it definitely helps. It's definitely an advantage that you can take, that you can use. We've had guys in the, in the locker room playing two national championships, um, rising juniors, one national championship last year. We played in the biggest games, so it gives us the utmost confidence in these type of tournament, tournament games because we have that tournament feel. Was there anything in particular that you or someone said to possibly Collins or Alex prepping for a game like this, first postseason play as a college athlete? Definitely you can say a couple a couple of things, but you don't want to overdo it. You want them to make sure it's their preparation. Up. And I thought both of them had a great, great game today. So um, really not much, maybe a couple extra reminders here and there, but they're doing their job, so I'm very happy. You get Michigan and Northwestern next. Is there a, a one team you'd rather face? Not, not really, not really. I'm just very happy we um, were able to play in front of our home, and home fans again on Wednesday. And Hoosier Army really brought it. That's something that was really, really cool to see. Really, really cool to see. So hopefully, see that on Wednesday. Something else for Joe. Not getting a result tonight maybe could have made it more uncertain for NCAA tournament hopes. Do you think guys were kind of playing with that in mind? Really trying not to think about that. Um, we're just seeing this individually game game at a time. We're just taking it one step at a time. We need a task at hand, and we're just focused on this game against Wisconsin. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Joey. Thanks, awesome. Thank you, guys. Is there any sweet justice in the fact that in five shots you got two goals tonight after early in the season you were firing 15, 20, 25 shots and couldn't get anything to fall? So is there some kind of the, the ball fall to falls back in your way now as you get late in the season with less shots that are more going in? We have been putting more shots on goal, which is great. I'd still like 15. I'll take 15 shots and two goals. Um, yeah, we, we, we could have created a little bit more. But yeah, we've been much more efficient. And that's a really good thing that we need to be doing. So yeah, we can um, shots on goal, being in scoring position, our runs, our final runs, I think are better than they were, you know, in the early parts of the season. So even the dangerous attacks that we got, I thought we were closer to be uh, be dangerous to finish. That was a really good sign. The last 15 minutes seemed a little bit nervy and kind of back against the wall a little bit. Kind of take me through your mindset there. What you saw? Yeah, I mean it's. It's our game a little bit. I mean, you can, you know, you can prepare and talk about it. I thought uh, some of our, our functional clearing could have been better. Um, a couple silly fouls, like just things that kind of can domino. And I think the guys were a little, they know. So like after they have one of those moments, they're like, come on, guys, you know. So if we just did everything a little cleaner, they're still going to push all those numbers, and certainly they might get a chance or two. You just got to make it higher percentage. Got a couple high percentage, but they were pushing that really for the rest of this their season. Right? Um, everything was all high. The keeper was up under two minutes. You don't see that until maybe the last thirty seconds. So we had to absorb a little bit, and you know things we can do better. So it's actually it's good that you can win those games, and with a lot of pressure, and then learn from a little bit, and then we get better for that same situation next time. Uh, I know you. Would have liked a shout out, but JT uh, came up huge at the end there with a couple of saves. Um, just, how nice is it to have him have him back there down the stretch here? Yeah, the good really good to JT. He won't get rattled. He keeps the group. I thought his communication and Joey and, and, and really Jansen's improved a lot. That really helped the group when, when there was a little bit like, okay, a lot going on right now. When he looked a little uh, unsettled for a moment, and JT just gets.
a really good call for Memphis, which means he's in the right place to make a play. He's not trying to do things he shouldn't. So he was, he was I thought, you know, him to get you know, a nice honor today with the all-conference. It's, uh, it's nice to see Jason honor another season for us. Joey said that uh, starting quicker was something he wanted to work on for Wednesday's match. Is that something that you agree with? Yeah, we started a little, um, it, it was a bit of a stagnant, you know, first 27 minutes. Some of that was the kind of way they, they employed and played differently than we'd seen. They hadn't played that shape all season. I feel like the quarterfinal, we get everyone's, you know, kind of modified lineup. They have not played with three in the center all season. Um, and it threw us off a little bit. Um, and we obviously adjusted at halftime. We were trying to adjust in, in the first half. And, if we were just a little cleaner on some of our possessions, but we were getting caught a little bit in between our spacing and midfield, we keep going bad. Our 9-10, we're, we're getting caught a little bit, and our wide guys at times were stepping the wrong guys. So we had to just kind of get through the first half. And then I thought the first 20, 30 in the second half was really good. And then got what we needed. And then ideally we can finish that out with the third goal or just be cleaner. And we were 3-0 or 2-1 with a little less nerves. <laughs> They're, they're well coached. They're a good team. They, they got good players, and they definitely had every attack on the field at the end of the game that they had at their disposal. Very different on how they started the game. Their most defensive group they've played all season. So it kind of says obviously what what they might have been trying to do, and uh, they were you know, pretty effective at it. That early goal was, was massive for us. Do you think that uh, Wisconsin putting three in the middle was kind of a prepare and scout for Hugo because Hugo didn't play in the middle back in September? I do. I, I don't know exactly what their thought was with it. Um, you know, five hasn't played there all season. He did a good job in there. I think it threw them off a little bit too. Like as much as it might have thrown us off, I think they're they weren't quite as much sync. I think especially in the second half when we started to kind of settle down a little bit. And a lot of that was just we we kept a little bit. Our 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 first one or two you know thoughts were forward. We really just had to move it and kind of move their their lone striker get Patty to fan out, do some things to kind of create some numbers, and we did that really much better second half. And they got a little bit like out of, they were a little confused in midfield. Um, I don't know if it was for Hugo or, you know, I, I think they they were, I think, trying to pull us out, I really think, and trying to find 10 and a little higher. He's a very good kind of number 10, and he's been playing much deeper this year. He's very crafty, and I think they were trying to kind of pull our midfield out would be my guess of why they went with that shape. Another set piece goal tonight, this one courtesy of Joey Mayer, obviously his second PK goal of the season. What are your thoughts on how the set pieces have been rolling in the past month? Much better. I still think we, you know, convert of course, but you know, I still think we can we can be a touch better on our on our corners and wide that we start. So tonight we were we were solid, but um, obviously we made the one that we that we needed to make with the with the penalty. Much better though, overall. Um, not only just in general, but today was good. Gotta still get better. I'd still, you know, as these games get tight, I mean, look at some of our best runs. You're gonna get a corner could be the difference. You know, look at some of our biggest games. It's um, it often comes down to a, a restart. Is there right? Okay. Uh, during the penalty check, what was kind of said with the ref between the coaches as the guys? On the field? Well, he was just confirming what he saw. I mean, that's what's great about the the video review. Last year, we couldn't have reviewed that. Last year it was only in or out of the box, so it had to been that was clearly within the box. It was just whether it was a foul, and so for him to go back and look at it and confirm what he thought, he then brings us together to say it is abstained with my call on the field, and then um, and then I think the other Wisconsin was kind of bantering a little bit too. And I forgot why I got out at that point, but that was what he was talking about. Is there any concern in Big Ten play? You obviously shut out Evansville and trying, but you haven't had a shutout in Big Ten play since early in the season. And, you know, it's either been – you've gotten the lead, I think, in each of them, but you've either allowed an equalizer or you've allowed another one to get them back in the game. Is there any concern as you go deeper in postseason knowing you may need to win a 1-0 game of being able to hold that? Because you've had a – even the better as your offense has been the last few weeks, you've had a harder time and you've given up at least a goal in every Big Ten game. Yeah, I think we've played well defensively, though. So I'm, I'm not – you know, goals can happen whether it's numbers forward or um, a unique situation, whether it's, you know, the long throw, you know, those are, those are still goals, but I think you have to look at the body of the work. Are we giving up high percentage chances? We did late. That's part of the absorbing the numbers, but 
if you're giving those chances 20 minutes in, that's to me where, okay, we need to figure out what's going on defensively. That's not the problem. So, yeah, we might have to win a game 2-1. to one. Um, I still think defensively we've been really good. And statistically, we're in the top 10 in the country. So that's not a worry. I don't think we've dropped there. I just think we got some guys that can make plays. We just got to be able to make one more. There was kind of a tangle on the Maduro penalty. Uh, I guess not a traditional sort of rough slide yeah. tackle. Uh, do you think that was warranted? Maybe a little bit generous? What are kind of your thoughts on it? Yeah, I mean, I think he was just—he got positioned, and the guy kind of swung at him. So I think Collins is just so quick and shifty and strong that I don't think he expected him to kind of come around him like that. And that—that that was why he was able to create it. Um, I thought Collins, the other issue, he doesn't go down like that. I, I say, Collins, if you get fouled, go down. <laughs> don't flop, <laughs> go down, and he doesn't go down. So he really got fouled today. I really have to tell him, Collins. If you get fouled, go down the box because that's a penalty. <laughs> Sammy will go down. Um, we have to talk about him making sure he keeps his feet sometimes. But Collins, uh, yeah, he's not going to embellish, and that's 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 uh, that was a, that was a true penalty. Anything else? Michigan, uh, Northwestern, kind of. What are your thoughts on playing out of those teams? Or yeah, the, I mean, um, I don't know the score now, but I think Michigan was winning at one point late. Um, you know, we're just excited. We're Seen at this point, you know, Michigan's you know, had a lot of ties, and we know they're good. You know, draw here at home. I thought we had a lot of it in the second half, in particular. Northwestern got us at their place, so I think the guys certainly would like the chance to. I think there's a little bit of both games that they're like, man, I'd like to play those teams again. Um, the, the quality to get good players, but you know, we're playing for a title and playing for a lot, so it doesn't really matter who we face. But sometimes guys get into. Oh, that would be a fun team to play based on what happened earlier. So both both have some different reasons for that. Uh, wanted to wait till the end to ask this. Um, obviously, Bob and I passing on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, obviously, you growing up around I your whole life, and your dad had a good relationship with him. Just um, what, what was that day like for you and everything? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, he's been he's been ill for, for a bit. And uh, Pat and I, you know, grew up, and we had a lot of similar experiences. You know, two legendary coaches as our fathers. We both played in Indiana. He played the kid for a couple years in front of me. We'd always chat about you know, what it's like to play. Um, Bobby was a, a you know different type of coach in the sense of, but he was an amazing motivator. My father used a couple different ways to do that, but they had a crazy amount of respect for each other. And you know, we were, as you guys know, I mean, we had some of the best coaches in the in the country at one time. So respectfully, the, 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 the most you know, winningest coaches in their, in their sport, obviously Bobby. When Tired, he's been past sense, but with Doc Houseman and my father and Bobby Knight, and that's an amazing trio that uh, you reflect back. So, yeah, I've seen Pat, he's I've seen him in town, we had a good visit, and obviously, uh, you know, his, his, his legacy will really live on a long time, which is that's when you know you, you've left your mark. And uh, Bobby was on that. How's your dad holding up with everything? It's hard. I mean, I think he sees, you know, friends of his that, you know, be similar age, so it's hard for him. Um, he's had some friends pass away, peers, and so he's enjoying every time he has, and he's healthy and doing well, but, you know, uh, we, we take every day one at a time, and he's, he's enjoying this, and we're going to go, go visit with him after this and go celebrate with him. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thanks, guys.